brushing my hair, I like to let it air dry for a little while. So while I'm letting it air dry, I am just gonna keep working on my vlog and come back in here and start getting ready. So today is day two of doing a longer fast. And because the only meal that I had Because the only meal that I had yesterday was eggs, salami, and some cheese, that's not a super filling meal. So I feel like today I'm feeling a little bit more hungry. Than I would normally on a day two. So yesterday was technically an OMAD, but like I said in my video from the day before, I even if I am deciding to eat at the end of the day, I'm gonna decide to eat something nutritious and something that is healthy versus having something that's unhealthy. That way it doesn't feel like I've, I, did, like waited all that time to eat for nothing. So I was considering showing me like making a coffee or having or heating up some bone broth, but we have an appointment at 1.30 and I am nowhere near ready. <laughs> so I felt like I really needed to get myself ready and if I have time I'll make a bone broth to go but or maybe I don't know maybe make myself something to go it doesn't have to be a bone broth but like I said in that that tip it's good to try and or I find it helpful to try and schedule longer fasts even if it's just an omad around a day where i'm busy because i feel like it's kind of distracting and day number if you if you do like a a couple day fast day number two and and or number three are typically where you start feeling more hunger signals. And so those are days that I definitely like to be more busy, have things on my plate that need to happen. That way I'm focused on other things besides food. Anyways, I am gonna keep doing my hair and do my makeup. And if I have anything, I will show you what it is. All right, just got finished getting ready for the most part. And I do have about, uh, let's see, nearly an hour before we have to leave. So I am gonna go ahead and make myself that coffee. And... It's 4.55 now, 
did not expect to be gone for that long. Holy crimity. So we went to our chiropractor appointment, which was at 1.30, and then I scheduled a nail appointment that I went to and got my nails done. And then uh, Brian got me coffee, so it was definitely more than one tablespoon of coconut milk in there. So about that time is when my fast broke. I'll have to look at what time I, oh, I guess I paid in cash, so I can't check. So that was, pro, my appointment was at 2.15. Uh, I think like around 3 or 3.30 is when my fast broke. So yeah, um, not a lot of content grabbed from today. I still need to get this video that's going live today up. And Brian is taking all the Christmas presents out to the office because they're just taking up so much space. That's for my grandma. So that we can finally have a cleaner space in our home, hopefully. Oh my gosh, my knee hurts so bad. The chiropractor worked on my knee and said that my tibia was super twisted. So yeah. Still in recovery for my back and my neck. He worked on me for so long. Woo! Holy cow. Anyways, I need to get back. I will show you what we end up having for dinner. I need to work on this vlog, getting it live and out there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I still have quite a bit of editing to do, but I am feeling my tummy being like, girl, it is time. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself a bone broth because Brian's not cooking anything yet. And it's probably going to be a while before we actually eat. This is what she looks like. Lots of fatty goodness. Brian just asked me a super important question. He just finished making dinner and he asked me if I wanted a hard cider right now or if I wanted to wait till the weekend. A part of me wants to say, yeah, let's go for it, let's have it. But another part of me is like, I just fasted for the majority of the day and would I just be throwing away everything that I just did by having a cider and I think yeah, I would be throwing everything away that I just did and all the effort I just put in for the entire day. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on it tonight, but may partake this weekend. Just wanted to bring you guys in on my thought process and like how I handle situations. And this is the dinner. It's eggs, bacon, and chev, and some salsa. Ground beef. Ground beef? Yeah. I could have swore you were making bacon. Bake, yeah, I put bacon and the um, ground beef, the U.S. Wellness Meats that has the heart and liver and all that stuff in it. Yeah. Um, eggs with cream cheese whipped in, chev on top, and then hot sauce. Oh, and there's some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and rosemary, fresh rosemary sprays. Dang. Might be great, might be disgusting. We shall find out. It is 7-Eleven and we are going to make some yogurt bowls. 